This is our first introduction into the class or tier 4B as far as the emissions controls and everything for our three flagship combines, our three larger combines at 72, 82, and 9240. You know, there's a lot of new features on the combines. It wasn't just a change into the emission system. There's a lot of other things. Horsepowers have increased. Grain tank sizes have increased, you know, to give the producer more productivity in the field. Especially when we get into that small grain market and everything, you know, there's a lot of new features on the combine, especially when we come to residue control out the backside. You know, as horsepowers and everything increase, we're taking more material in the front side of the machine, so that means more material coming out the back side of the machine. And you know it's very important to get that residue spread and even pattern. And we're giving the customer more control right from the cab. Grain tank sizes increase on both the 8240 and 9240. Uh, grain tank sizes did increase from 350 to 410 bushel. You know the new cab came in in mid-year model 13 and really took our cab to the next level. I'll say. We always had the premium cab on the market. We just took it one step further. Uh, we changed some of the controls around and everything, made it a little bit easier to control and, you know, things like that. Just give the operator a lot more control, more storage space, more outlets for like plugging in cell phones, you know, even to the point where you have an in-cab refrigerator. A couple of things on the, on the new machines, Yes, they have increased horsepowers, but we just didn't turn up the fuel system to get the increased horsepower. Uh, two of the models, example, the 7240, it replaces that 7230. It had an 8.7 liter engine in it that was rated at about 380 horsepower. Now the 7240's got an 11.1 .1 liter engine, so a much larger displacement and everything. Yes, we raised the horsepower to 403, but it wasn't just turning up the fuel pump, you know, to, we matched the capacity of the engine with the horsepower. And then likewise on the 9240, you know, we increased the horsepower from 500 to 550 horsepower, but we also increased the engine size from a 12.9 liter engine to a 15.9 liter engine. So again, pretty massive increase in displacement.